What's going on, gaming gods and goddesses? Welcome back to Midnight Gaming with, the, with Mystic Nightmare. Thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out. Hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome day. It is midnight, and we are back on the forest. Now, I, I've kind of been thinking about how we're going to do our episodes, and to be honest with you, there's like three types of players in this game. One, you got the people who are base builders. They come in and they build these huge bases just so they can show off, which is totally awesome. Because there's some awesome designs out there. Then you got the completionists. Basically the people that like to go in and like to do caving and collect all of the different items that we've got in the game. And then there's the type that kind of do a little bit of both. Um, that's kind of the type of player I am when it comes to this game. I like to build decent sized bases. But at the same time, I also like to go in and collect a lot of stuff from the caves and stuff like that. So my bases aren't massively huge, but at the same time, they're... They're pretty decent size. Uh, so what I figured we'll go ahead and do is we'll go ahead and split it up into two types per two types of gameplay per episode. One, a little bit of base building, whereas if I have to do a lot of base building, then I'll do it off a of camera and just come back and show you. And then two, uh, halfway through the episode, we'll go ahead and just get out of the base building or whatever and we'll go do maybe a cave or we'll go do some fighting or collecting or whatever maybe some exploring so what I wanted to do is go ahead and start this episode by starting out with with our base foundation for our our, our, our house our platform I guess you could say and then I also had an idea that I was gonna build a bridge across this 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 uh, th this valley, this cow, no, it's not a cavern, this, um, this canyon, that's what it's called, over into that cliff over there, on that side, because that's actually where the beginning area, or I shouldn't say the beginning area, where you're captured, where you respawn over there, and I want to be able to get there quickly. And I'm not going to do this on camera, but I am going to show, I mean, I'm going to drop down the blueprints, so you can see how I'm going to do it. And basically with building a platform here's the easiest way that I find out to get one started and to make it nice and square so you don't have some funky oblong you know platform so basically you get the custom platform out you start it with your right height you click it and then I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna count the logs so three six nine twelve And there's 25, so I'm going to go ahead and stop off at that 25 when it's directly underneath the wood. I'm going to go ahead and left click, or yeah, left click. I'm going to go out as far, oops, I screwed up already. I kind of went like that, so let's go like this. There we go. Okay, I'm going to go straight out. I'm not going to touch any directional. I'm going to go out as far as I can because I want this overhanging the cliff. I'm going to go ahead and left click, and I'm going to start counting logs again. So I've got three six nine okay so we're at 25 now I should be able to click this and go straight back and run right into our very first post there we go and now it's clicked and it's 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 connected I should say so I'm gonna left click and there we go we're nice and happy, and if I was to go up a little bit higher on the cliff, then you'd see that it's a nice, beautiful square. It does hang off of the cliff, which is definitely what we wanted to do. See, it's got a nice cliff hang. And then I think I'm going to try and start out with uh, some platforms down there to make the bridges and, and stairs and stuff. So let's go ahead and do. I'm just going to. I'm now. I'm not going to build this on camera. So don't worry about that, but what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to lay out how I'm going to do the blueprints. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some stairs and put our stairs over here just a little bit. And I'm just going to bring them up here and I'm going to try and get them so they're perfect right there. And then we'll bu that'll build us some stairs up to our platform. Now I found out that you can kind of just slide down. And I'm sorry it's getting a little bit dark. Let me go ahead and change this. I kind of started the the game at about a time uh, in the day but you can slide down cliffs and stuff like this and not really get hurt as I say it I get hurt dude so let's go ahead and have some of that 
And so what I'm going to do down here is I'm going to build this bridge. And the way that I'm going to do it is I'm just going to use platforms and I'm going to use hanging uh, or uh, what are they called? Hanging bridges or rope bridges or whatever they're called. So I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to start right about here up against the rock ledge. Ah. See, these things get funky. You see how it's turning around one center log piece? That's not the way I like to do it. Uh, if you start it again, it'll spin the proper way so it's not wrapping around one certain log. Okay, so I'm going to do it like this. Go all the way in. I'm going to hit... That's still not right. I'm going to go ahead and hit E. Whoops, I screwed that up. Already I screwed that up. Because I'm supposed to go as high, I want to go as high as I possibly can with it. So we'll go way up there, and it's doing it again. See how it's rotating around? Ah. Anyway, uh, while I'm trying to figure this out, uh, the second thing I wanted to do today was I was planning on showing... Dang it. I was planning on... I was planning on showing you the easiest and fat... Why does it keep disappearing? Oh, I keep hitting B, that's why. I'm mean, supposed to hit R. I was going to show you the easiest and the fastest way to get the two best items in the game. And the two best items, in my opinion, are the flashlight and the katana. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to show you the fastest way you can get them in minutes. Literally minutes without having to fight anything in the entire game. So, let's see. So, I'm going to put my second platform right here. Okay. So, yeah. I'm, that's what I plan on doing uh, right after I get this built. I'll build this off the of camera. And then we'll go ahead and I'll show you the fastest, easy way, easiest way to get the flashlight and the katana at the same time without having to fight any cannibals whatsoever. So it'll be super, super nice for you guys to find this out, and it's very, very easy to do. Okay, so we're up against the cliff here. And I'm going to do one more platform. I like my platform so the, the wood crosses in front of me instead of going parallel to the way I'm looking it goes uh, perpendicular so there's our three towers and all I have to do now is build the towers and then all I have to do is go in and get our our tree bridge and then connect them between it now here's the cool thing about this this seems really really high right once I get this bad boy built I can hit the B button and I can go in and I can get this climbing rope. Now the climbing rope will actually attach way up there. And I'll show you a little bit more about that a little bit later. It makes it really, really nice and easy to actually get up these platforms without having to build stairs or anything. You just have the, ro the rope climbing thing. And uh, it makes it easy to build your, 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 your bridge. So I'm going to go ahead and build this. Once I get this built, I'll show you what I've done. And then we'll go over, we'll hit that cave. Um, where we can get the katana and the flashlight in like seconds, guys. Seriously, very quick. Now, I'm not promising there's not going to be a fight because I think I'm going to fight my way up so I can get a bunch of cloth and stuff like that. So we will be right back when I get this built. Okay, guys, welcome back. And as you can see, it is done. I've actually done quite a bit, uh, to be honest with you, and it's taken me quite a while uh, to do this. It's taken a couple, probably a couple hundred logs at least. Well, maybe not that much. I don't know. At least a couple hundred. And as you can see, we got the bridge going, the hanging bridge, the platforms. Um, the platform up here for our base is done. Uh, let me just go ahead and come down and show you. And now the reason I basically wanted to do this was because... I'm also I've also made ropes to go down to uh, the 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 beach down here. So let me show you that first. Now here's the cool thing about this. You see this rope on the side of this platform. This makes life so much easier because I can come down here and I can get meat if I need it. Um, I can get shells if I need it. Uh, and what I can do is that rope looks really high, right? But if I just come over here. 
And you can actually, to get this set up, all you got to do is just jump, and it'll snap, and then while you're jumping, you can you can build it. But all I got to do is walk up. I can hit E, and boom, I'm already halfway up the platform. So it makes it super, super easy to get up the platforms. I've done ropes on both sides of the platforms just to make sure if we're getting chased by a cannibal or anything, then I can run into the woods here, and I can get to the either side of the platform, and I can get up onto the platform and be safe. Uh for some reason, that one sticks. I don't know why that sticks. It shouldn't stick right there. But uh, So I've gone through the trees, and I've come up here, and I've made uh, another platform right here with ropes, and then I've made stairs that go up to the side of the cliff, and then I've made a wall, a defensive wall, so if I'm being chased, they can't find me in here. Now, this doesn't work out that great because I come through here, and it works out fine. And straight through here, through that direction, is the actual new spawn point, or the, why do I keep saying new spawn point? The respawn point for being captured. <clears throat> Excuse me. But when I try to get in here, I have to crouch. Which, it isn't that bad, because it, I don't get stuck when I crouch. It's just when I don't crouch, I get stuck. So I gotta crouch, and then it allows me in. So, this bridge is done. It's an easy way for us to get across the canyon here and get over to the other side so we can get to caves and other stuff like that. Now, I started doing doing the stairs this way, and it, honestly, it just didn't work out because the cliff underneath this platform starts to drop down. So I, go, I could only go so far up before the stairs started to drop down, and then I had to do it at an angle, which kind of sucked because it clips through the side of our platform. So it's ugly, but it works. Um, I can't really take much up here except for me, so I can't be pulling like a log sled or anything. To do this, I actually had four log sleds going. Now, I've only got two left because I destroyed two, but what I did was I just, is I made four out where I was out logging, which is out here, which is way out there. Basically because I wanted to keep all of these trees nice. I, I, I like to have the trees here because of the landscape. When you can build a when you build a big bri or a big uh, base, you kinda deforest everything and it starts to look ugly. So I kinda like to travel a ways away to get my logs, and what I do is I go out, I make four log sleds, I fill all four, which comes to be be 44 logs total and then I run a little bit back with one I go all the way back I get another one I run a little bit ways back it's a pain in the butt and it takes a while but it makes it so you can not have to worry about deforesting the area that you're playing in so it looks nice and pretty still uh, as you can see, those two are full. Uh, I made some rock filler thing, rock holders. I filled those up. A couple of log holders. I filled those up, except for one over here. Uh, some stick holders. I filled those up. And then on our little journeys here, ah, I needed those feathers. No, let me have that one, please. Ah. Anyway, on our little journeys here, I was able to. Um. I started getting a lot of pelts and a lot of meat, as you can see, a ton of freaking meat. Holy crap. Uh, but I stopped off and started getting some of this stuff, and I was getting full. So I made this new item that they have in here that is the storage rack. I believe it is. It's the... What the heck is this? The skin rack, which holds all your skin stuff, which is actually new because this is part of an update that I didn't see uh, and I didn't know they had in here. This is awesome. In my opinion, this is totally cool. Uh, we can go ahead and make some armor. We might as well because I'm planning on. Maybe we can't make armor. We used to be able. There we go. We'll make a little bit of armor. It's not going to be that protective, but uh, I can actually just use all of that if I wanted to. There we go. We got a little bit of armor. And sorry, you guys can probably hear Merlin in the background screaming. He's in the bathroom uh, making a complete and utter disaster. Anyway, I went ahead and made this, and I put all of our, our uh, uh, all of our stuff on it. And I think what we need to do is we need to go do, we need to go caving. I am so sick of building this thing right now. Uh, I figure we're done for the day, and I'm going to show you guys exactly where to get the katana and where 
to get the flashlight at the exact same time. And it's going to be super easy for you. So if we can just... The first thing I need to do is I need to make... Oh, crap. I need to make a bow. And some arrows. I think... I don't know how to make a bow anymore. Ah. So one of the nice things that they put in here is they put in um, traps, furnishings... Do-it-yourself guide. Okay, so there's a bow. Okay, so a bow can be crafted by combining a stick with cloth and rope. Isn't that what I did? It was a stick and cloth and rope? Stick, rope, rope. Oh, it's not. Is it just cloth? There it is. Okay, there's a, there's a, a bow. Dude. And now we need to make... Oh, it's getting windy. Now we need to make one, two, three, four, five, and a stick makes arrows. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's get completely full of arrows. I want to use all of these. Okay, now, uh, did they, oh man, oops, I actually shot one, I didn't even see a freaking arrow in there, okay, so now I need to take, uh, do I have to put cloth on them now too, yes, see they're making these recipes quite a bit harder, um, and you can only do a certain amount at a certain... You used to be able to do like a whole stack of arrows. Whoops. Because I like fire arrows. I told you guys before I'm a fire bug. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Lots of fire. Uh, and I know I think I have one more. Now here's the thing. You know what I've noticed about this place? Okay. Um, I haven't been attacked at all by any bad guys. Like, at all up here. They don't even come around. They, If I go up over by the lake up here, then yeah, they do come around. But for the most part, I don't see them up here at all. So, okay. So let me show you this cave entrance that is the easiest way to get the katana and the flashlight. And the reason I'm doing this is because, in my opinion, these are the two best items in the game. Uh, the flashlight obviously helps you, and I think, yep, I knew it. The flashlight obviously helps you see in the dark, and the katana is the best weapon in the game. By far, period. No discussions, no arguments whatsoever. I know there's a few people out there, for some reason they think that the, that the modern axe, for some reason, is the best in the game, and it's not. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry, but it's not. I mean, if the modern axe was a little bit faster, it might actually compare to the um, the katana, but it's not that fast. And it does a lot of damage, but the katana does only slightly less damage. Oh, we got baddies. Oh, we got a whole freaking load of baddies over here. Crap. You guys are going to completely make me... Go around you, aren't you? Okay, you guys can go up there. I'm fine with that. Okay, so to find the cave, there's two entrances to this cave that I know of. One is kind of a crappy entrance where you have to fight an RMZ and you have to fight a whole bunch of baddies on the way there. The other one, you don't have to fight anything there as long as you go the right direction. So the first thing you want to do is you want to find the plane. Now you see the plane? It looks like it's pointing towards me, right? That's exactly what it's doing. It's pointing directly to the cave where you get the katana. So you basically just do a 180 and you just follow. And I'll bring up my map when I get there. So give me just a minute, guys. But you do a 180 and you just follow it up to this cliff up here. <clears throat> I 
Let's run a little bit faster so we can get up there. So you see this, you'll run right into this cliff right here. And all you got to do is follow this cliff. Keep it on your right hand side. And right at the base of this, is it this cliff or I think it's the next one. Come on, dude. This stamina thing is annoying. Oh, what am I lagging out for? At the base of the... Oh, what's going on? What's with the lag? Seriously. Oh, that's why. Okay. So. Anyway. Yeah, so down there, the plane tip points all the way up here. You just follow this along the cliff, and here is your cave. If I bring up the map... As you can see, the yellow dot or the yellow pin prick. This is exactly where it is. This is the cave entrance, and we're gonna go down because I'm just about to get attacked. So we're gonna go all the way down. Come on with the lag, man! It's like every time it either goes to the cave or a, a bad guy shows up, I get a lag spike. That's weird. That's new. I've never had that happen before, actually, to be honest with you guys. Okay, so let's. It's really dark. Let's switch this to here, and we're going to go down. All right, we are here. Skulls, cloth, let's do this. Let's get our sticky poo out. That's another thing that annoys me. You use one stick, and forever it's put in here. It's really weird. I don't know why they do that. So we'll use three... And then we'll go ahead and equip that. We'll light this so you guys can see. And down here is a ton of like skull heads and there's 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 stuff you can open. Um, there's tons of cloth down here. There's a little toy from Timmy Timmy Tim 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 Timberu. And then there's pictures on the walls. Um, skulls, more skulls if you guys want skulls. Probably want okay, enough with looking at the picture. Thank you. <clears throat> Why does it go out every time I look at something else besides the torch? Alright, so we're going to put the lighter away. Did you guys hear that? There's an armsy up here. Oh, I just lit my stinking torch. Come on. So we get to the top of the rope. You're standing up here. Guess what? On the right-hand side, there's an armsy right there. There's an armsy. Oh, oh, cute. But we're going left. You see these boards down here? We're going to follow these around. Uh, this direction. And I think up here we're going to have to duck. There we go. All right. And this is the cave where you can find the flashlight and the katana both at the same time. The katana is laying on the floor right here. Isn't that cool? Whoa! Katana! Okay. So we're going to put this back on and we're going to relight it so we can see. Now, if you're looking for the flash items. Oh, and by the way, guys, down here, tons of booze and watches and cloth. Look at all these watches. I think we can hold found passenger seat 19. Really, I found all of those guys. I think we can hold five watches. So one, two, three, four. No, three. Really? You guys lowered the amount of watches. Great. Uh, meds. Uh, there's food. Meds. There's a flare. And there's a whole bunch of money. Lots of money. We're rich. We're rich. Uh, I think I've got as much booze as I can hold. I've got all my food. I've got all my watches. Uh, and I think... Let's see if we can figure... Remember what... I don't have any coins, so I can't make bombs. Okay, so if you follow over to the left a little bit here, uh, 
that was scary, whatever that was. Looks like they put some new stuff over here. These drinks and stuff weren't over here before. We definitely need the sodas. I was running out of sodas when it came down to like... When it came down to building. So in here is the flashlight. I probably should have got my katana out for it, but I don't care. There's your flashlight right there. Boom. Now, do we have any batteries? We have batteries. We only got one set, so we need to get some more batteries. All right. And I'm going to do this because, honestly, I think the flashlight sucks. I've always thought the flashlight sucked. No, I want the lighter, you knucklehead. I've kind of always thought the flashlight sucked when it comes down to it. Um, but it doesn't go off. It doesn't turn off uh, when it comes down to, like, you know how the... Uh, I'm, I'm hitting the wrong buttons, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just... I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. There we go. So the flashlight doesn't flicker like the lighter does. It doesn't turn off. Okay, so... So there's your flashlight, there's your drinks, there's your money, there's your watches uh, for basically anything you really need, and we didn't have to fight a single bad guy for it. Plain and simple, it was that easy. Nothing big, nothing hard. Um, I wish we could carry more watches, but we can't. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to fight my way out of here because I think there's... A dead guy on a cross up here that I can get a bunch of cloth for and I don't have to go very far like I don't have to go all the way out to that village and then at the end of the hallway I just kind of want to clean out this entire cave mainly for the fact that at the end of the hallway there's a guy that's hanging upside down that has more watches I like to make lots of bombs in the game so we're gonna go ahead and do that but to do that we need to clear Giacomo here. And this is kind of going to be ugly. Oh, he is not happy. Oh, crap. I didn't realize he could get up here. I see you. Come here. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. You're going to fry. Okay, so i got to go that way if he comes after me. There's two. And I think three. Is it three that kills him, or is it four that kills him? I think it's four. There we go. I think it's going to be this one that will kill him. Yeah. There we go. That one's done. Jackass. Okay. So there should... Oh. 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 I got guys dropping down from the ceiling. Um... Oh, man. You know what? Come here. Come here, stupid. I see you. Come on. Here we go. Who's next? Come on. Come get some. Get some katana right in your face. You too. Katana! Right in your face! Oh! Did you get back up? How did you get... Uh, uh Sit back down. Sit down. Stay down. Stay down there, boy. Ouch. Come here. You're the one that got back up, aren't you? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, you see that? That's called nightmare right there. Alright, so do we got... I think there's a couple more guys that are up here that are going to drop down. But I can't see them from this direction. Are we Okay. 
Oh, maybe not. Okay. So basically the reason I did all that was because I wanted the cloth right here. And then that I want that watch right there and I want that cloth. And then basically for the rest of the way all the way down here, there's not really anything else. Cuz under here there's a whole bunch of rocks and then there's a little Timmy Timmy picture picture. And then there's a cloth. Okay, great. Yeah, you're looking at it. You're still looking at it. Okay, why are you still looking at it? Um, and then when you come out... Oh! This bat scared the hell out of me. Okay, so there's an item to-do list. It's still dark outside. And here is where the cave entrance is. Right here. As you can see, there's a little dot. And it's probably very hard to see, and I'm sorry because we don't have anything else open in, our, in the surrounding area. I guess I could come out here and run around a little bit, kind of get some things open. There's a dead guy out here with a watch and some cloth, a whole bunch of watches and cloth. So that's where it is when it comes down to like the main cave entrance, which is right... Uh-oh. Now I'm lost. There we go. Which is right here uh, along this cliff. <clears throat> and it's just to the left of where we came in earlier. But it's er it's easier to find the other way because you just find the plane. And then you just follow the tip of the plane where it's pointing. It's that simple. So I'm going to go ahead and take the easy road, ba road back because I know for a fact that it's now empty. And I'm going to go back to our wonderful and lovely base uh, if you guys enjoyed the video hit the like button if you didn't don't hit it just make sure you subscribe no matter what you do you might be able to find a couple of uh, videos that you might actually like you never know um, we'll see you guys in the next episode uh, keep gaming keep doing it midnight have a blast and uh, take care have a good one guys